Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy at Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll introduce you to our RUM offering. I'll also explain the nuances between RUM and synthetic testing, and why it's a great idea to have both in your monitoring portfolio. So let's take a look at the differences between synthetic and RUM and what they deliver. This diagram shows the application delivery chain and all the components that make it up. So starting with synthetic testing, which is robotic in nature, meaning you define the test locations, the types of tests to run, and how often. This is considered proactive monitoring, as it's continually running the tests you define. Understand this is not real user traffic. It's traffic generated by the test nodes. The real power of synthetic testing is having the ability to test many types of applications and protocols from all over the globe and from many different telemetry points. This gives you an excellent understanding of how your applications and services are performing and providing a baseline. Thresholds can also be defined, so when performance does start to degrade, alerts are generated, so again, this is proactive monitoring. RUM, or real user monitoring, is just that. We're monitoring the actual traffic coming from the end user's device. To do this, you simply need to deploy our JavaScript tag directly into the HTML code, or use any tag management system that are widely available. Now, this type of monitoring is considered reactive, unlike synthetics, which is proactive. So Catchpoint's RUM data provides deep insights into many dimensions due to the fact this data is not aggregated like many of our competitors do. With this data, you can understand how different browsers, applications, operating systems, and even devices are performing. You'll understand why some pages load slowly while others are performing well. So just a myriad of metrics can be pulled from our non-aggregated RUM data. To compare and contrast, with synthetics, you have the artificial traffic that's continually running. And with RUM, you're monitoring the actual traffic coming from your users. Combining both monitoring technologies gives you the level of visibility that will provide proactive testing to keep you ahead of those impending issues and rich user data to help you understand how all the moving parts affect real users so you can make informed, intelligent business decisions. Now this is a custom RUM dashboard that I configured. So very quickly, I can view information that is important to me and my job function. I'm monitoring my company's web page so I can see how it's performing from around the globe. The top metrics provide averages for specific metrics that I've defined, like time to first byte, first contentful paint, and all the way to number of page views. And these metrics I'm viewing over the last three days. And you can see metrics that are outside my threshold have been highlighted, so I know where to focus. There's also a geo heat map where I can understand what countries are having issues. Now the US is green. If I put my cursor over it, it displays the information about all the states within the United States. So if I look at it, I'm looking at average document complete time. So I can see how each state is performing when looking at my web page. So here, Georgia is at 3.8 seconds, but yet Iowa is showing 12 and a half seconds. So you can get a good understanding on how each state is working. Now, if you don't want to use this view, you can actually click into the United States and you actually get a sense as to which states are having the problem. So it really blows it out for you. So now you have an understanding on where you're having issues within viewing your home web page. Next to the geo map, I have my performance KPIs displayed per country going off the same metric, which is average document complete. Now, as I scroll through this, I can see how each country is doing. As I get down a little further, here I can see China, Egypt, and Finland have gone across the threshold, so they're red, and you can even see that in the map. From here, if I want to do additional troubleshooting, I can click into any one of these tiles, and it takes me directly to SmartBoard. And I can also change this view I want to see it in small tiles to get a real quick view I can see where I need to focus my attention so if I wanted to put a cursor over 32.6 I can see that's Egypt and again from here can launch directly into SmartBoard. Now moving down on this dashboard I have more information so looking over here on the left I have performance KPIs listed out over a time frame so if I put my cursor over one of these spikes I can see the metric is average time to interactive, which is 17.2 seconds. And I can see how it lines up with other metrics. If I look down, I can see that the spike lines up with average visually complete. And below that, 
I'm showing the number of page views. So here you can line up different spikes and see how they affect other KPI metrics. And going across the screen, I show errors. So this front end errors is basically showing client side issues. And when I click on legend, I'll show the different metrics that I'm looking at. So JavaScript errors and page views. And it's interesting that it seems every time I do a page view, I'm getting a JavaScript error. So that's kind of interesting, maybe something to look at. Also, if I go back to this performance KPI, if I click on legend, it shows all the different metrics that I've been monitoring. So here you can see what types of things I'm looking at. And we also show network errors. So we have the ability to show this information because you just never know when it might be a network issue. And at the bottom, I list out even more details. And this is where RUM really flexes its muscle. Because our data is non-aggregated, I can display this data for many different types of dimensions. And in this view, I'm looking at my top URLs, top countries, browsers, and even top operating systems. So if I want to understand which of my web pages is getting the most page views, I can simply click on page views and it bubbles the highest up to the top and I can see obviously it's a login. Maybe I want to see how the countries are doing in average document complete. I can select it twice. I can see Egypt is having the slowest time right down to top operating systems. Now these are metrics I picked. You can build your dashboard to show any number of metrics to suit your needs. And that's the real power of RUM. Having the ability to display the information you need so you can optimize your content and also make informed business decisions that's based on user data, not gut feelings. Now, this was just a very quick primer into Catchpoint's RUM offering. For more details on RUM, please visit the link provided. Thanks for watching.